morning all of you master shukr swami and science teacher from sant tukaram national model school today we are going to see a new chapter that is plants their forms and their functions in that we are going to discuss about one topic that is flowers and its parts so let's start so flowers is the part of the plant that contains a reproductive structure it is the most colorful part of a plant it is the most attractive part of a plant however in many plants it is no it is a many uh, most attractive part but though in many plants such as grass paddy it is having unattractive flowers the flowers are very small in size and they are unattractive in such kind of plants so most of the flower have sweet scent they have sweet smell which attracts insects towards them due to bright colors of the petals and the sweet smell because a sweet liquid is there called nectar is present in the flower uh, that is why that sweet smell is coming from that flower flowers vary widely in terms of size mainly in terms of color and its in terms of shape in the same kind of species also they are varying with the colors like red rose yellow white they are varying in color different colors are in spite of uh, sorry in spite of these variations flowers have common parts with the specific function let us study we are, we are going to study the parts of the flower in detail okay parts of the flower okay flower has a different parts arranged in the whorls or rings there are some layers are there mainly there are four layers are there whorls are there rings are there okay let us study about that part the first the stalk which attaches the flower to the stem the first part is the uh, pedicel it is called as pedicel it is the stalk like structure which attaches the whole flower that which attaches the flower to the stem that is called as pedicel this stalk like structure you can see here you can see this stalk like structure it is called as pedicel okay which holds the flower which uh, connect the flower to the stem that part is called as pedicel the tip of the pedicel the tip of the top part of the pedicel is called as thallus which bears whole whorls of the flower all the four layers of the flower it bears on that part the tip of that pedicel it is called as that part is called as thallus that thallus it will bears the rings of the flower means that all the parts of the flowers will bear by that thallus okay next part the first layer or the first or the outermost whorl of the flower is called as calyx it is called as calyx which consists of sepals sepals are green in color leaf like part that are located at the base of the flower you can see here you can see this is the rose flower and the green colored sepals are called as calyx it consists of sepals that calyx is consists of green colored sepals this protects the flower this calyx protects the flower during the bud stage when the flower is actually growing at that time at that bud stage this sepals this calyx will protect the flower it will also undertake a photosynthesis process you know that photosynthesis process means formation of food by the photosynthesis process plants form their food by their own with the help of sunlight with the help of water and with the help of carbon dioxide from the air they can form their own food that process is nothing but a photosynthesis process okay next part the second whorl or the second layer of the flower is called as corolla it is the most attractive layer of the flower it is the most attractive part of the flower see here it consists of petals it consists of petals you can see these petals all these petals yes this is the most attractive part of the flower it is the second whorl or it is it is also it is the second ring or it is the second layer of the flower which consists of petals and it is the most attractive part of the flower 
mostly petals are brightly in color to, and for that purpose they are attracted the insects they are attracted insects and bees towards themselves not only insects but the birds are also okay they are attracted even humans especially ladies they are also uh, attracted towards this petals next the third world or the third layer of the flower consists of stamen it is the male reproductive structure of the flower stamen is the male reproductive structure of male reproductive structure of the flower each stamen has a thin stalk like structure see you can see here this is the stamen this part is called as stamen this this part is called as stamen okay it is a male reproductive structure of the flower which consists of stalk like structure it is divided into two parts the stalk the thin stalk like structure here you can see the thin stalk like structure is called as filament and the tip of that stamen is called as anther the tip of the stamen is called as anther okay so collectively it is called as stamen okay yes the anther the the tip of the stamen is called as anther the anther consists of fine powdery substance called pollen grains the anther consists of fine powdery particle fine powdery substance in that anther that is called as pollen grains or it is also called as pollen you can see here this powdery substance is nothing but a pollen grain okay and this is the pollen this, this substance this powdery substance is the main cause for the reproductive system of that flower from this pollen grains sexual reproduction of the flower is carried out next part the fourth or the innermost layer or the fourth or innermost world of the flower consists of carpel or it is also called as pistil it is also called as pistil it consists of it is divided into three parts this pistil is divided into three parts you can see here this is the pistil or it is also called as carpel it is divided into three parts first is stigma second is style and third is ovary in that ovary ovules are there again powder like substances there inside the ovary this is called as ovules okay it is the carpel or pistil is the female reproductive structure of the flower it is the innermost layer it is the innermost world of the flower and it is the female reproductive structure of the flower carpel has three parts solen part sorry solen part at the base called as ovary thin stalk like structure is called as style and the thickened top part is called as stigma inside the ovary there are tiny structure called as ovules which will later develop into seeds when the pollen grains enter into the stigma into that ovary and when it will comes in contact with the tiny structure ovules then it will form the, the sexual reproduction and that flowers are converted into fruits and that ovules are converted into seeds that we will discuss in the next okay look at the uh, once again you see a whole structure of the flower whole structure that base the stalk like structure which attaches this flower to the stem that is called as pedicel and the whole flower whole world of the flower is bears at the tip of this pedicel that part is called as thalamus it is also also called as receptacle the first whorl or the first ring of the flower is called as calyx which consists of sepals which are green in color the second whorl which is the most attractive whorl of the flower is called as corolla it consists of petals which are bright in color the third whorl of the flower is called as stamen which consists of stalk like structure called filament and the base are sorry at the tip of that uh, filament the whorl structure is there called anther in that anther pollen grain is there and it is the male reproductive structure of the flower and in the innermost layer of the flower is called as carpel or it is also called as pistil and it is the female reproductive structure of the flower 
So these are all these are the parts of the flower. In the next season session, we will discuss about the pollination. What are the types of pollination? Okay. Up to then, bye. Take care.